Konnichiwa, Minna. Hello and welcome back. We have one crane down and today we're gonna make them a friend. Yay. Let me tell you what I've done. So here are all of our papers again. If you know me in real life, you will know that I am just a tad neurotic. So what I've done, and this makes me happy but other people think I'm weird for it, is I have arranged all of them by color. I like a good color effect gradient. So I'm gonna spread them out for you and give you a shot of what makes me happy to look at. So, all right, I've retied my bandana because it keeps them falling off. Let's continue. Here we go. Close up look of my brain. So here's how I've organized the papers. Got it in a nice color gradient. I love it so much. This is how I wanna run my life forever because it's so appealing and I swear it's not weird. Oh my God, Sam, shut up. Thank you. So how I think I wanna do this is I already started with this lovely paper here. I'd like to go all the way along this palette and just have one of each for the moment to join a little person here. Hello! So, we're gonna make you a friend. Let's get started and hope it doesn't take as long as last time, because I think I know what I'm doing. Except I don't. That was a lie. Where did I put the instructions? Located. Let's go! So this one's already been done. We're just gonna pop her back in the box. The next one is this lovely pink with shiny gold flowers on it. They're quite small, so I'll give you a close-up in a sec. This is our paper of choice today. It's a lovely pink with some golden blossoms on it. Very sparkly, very glittery, um, as you can tell. Love it. You all don't know how happy this makes me having it ordered by color. If you go into my closet, which please don't, um, you'll see different items of clothing by category and then organized by color. Because I am a sociopath. And by sociopath, I mean sensible, because who wouldn't do that? Say hello to your little friend. Here you go. So, fold in half. It's so familiar, like I did it just a couple days ago. Fold in half again. Da -da -na -na. Flatten to make a square. Da -na -na -na. This is already much quicker than my first two attempts, which I'm happy about. I don't think this is gonna take more than 20 minutes this time. Thank goodness. Or oh, maybe it will. <laughs> How have I already screwed up? Fold, fold, into a square, into a square. I know the theory, it's the practice that's hard. Yay, Macarena. <laughs> okay, last time, last two times, I screwed this up. Now I know not to fold it in half or that kind of stuff, so we can do this. Haha! -ha. Take that. Haha! -ha. Oh wait, oh, uh, oh, well. I knew I forgot to do something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I really do wish I was better than, at this. I'm just gonna quickly pretend I know what I'm doing. Alrighty, alrighty, so that way, holy boy, aha. I remember when I made this years ago, it was the most confusing thing. And even now it is the most confusing thing. In future episodes, I think it would be a nice fun time to be able to just sit down and talk to y'all, talk at y'all about fun different things, like I can tell you about where this whole Thousand Crane Grants a Wish premise comes from, um, from Sadoko, it's named after the girl who actually tried to make the Thousand Cranes and this is where I think the legend stems from. Um, so I think I'll talk about that in the next video because I quite like the story, as sad as it is, I like the message. Here's where I get stuck. Except I don't want to. This part isn't gonna take me ten minutes this time. And ten minutes is the e the short version. Oh, George! I like saying "Oh, George" because I love birds, and it is a reference to this one video 
that I saw that had a man with a pet goose named George. I think it was a goose. And he would go around the shopping center with this goose and the goose would help him shop. And he'd just keep saying, oh, George, oh, George. And I just, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite videos and love you, George. We now know what a pocket fold is. It's about time. Yay, a tail! Now the head. I don't know how to get the head to look, um, head-like. Because it comes out looking like this little spindly thing. And I think that you're supposed to fold the head in half to make sure that it represents a beak of some kind. Or some description. Pocket fold. Pocket fold. Oh, that's even worse than yesterday's. I mean, last time's. I didn't do anything yesterday. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, George. Ha ha ha? Is, is this what success feels like? Because she's unfamiliar. We're just gonna leave it at that. So I've got these two cranes now. And they are best friends. I've decided. You can't change my mind. So, eventually we're gonna have a whole family of cranes and it's gonna be really cute and I might do it like a gradient because I did mention that I wanted to put them on strings. Um, could have them like that and then have a color gradient going all the way down. Oh, it looks so good. So remember, next video I'd like to talk about, you know, the legend of Sadako and the cranes. Um, it is slightly war related, I think. Um, so I find it to be sad, but I also find it to be an inspirational story. So I'll tell you more about that. And yeah, I'm in the midst of figuring out an outro and as I'm currently learning Japanese and origami, I believe, originated in Japan, let me know if it's politically correct for me to sign off in Japanese. Just let me know. Yay. I will see you soon. Bye.